I believe earlier we heard some rather loud young people make their voices heard. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty, listen, it is our duty to win. We must love and support one another. We have nothing to lose but our chains. We are already losing our lives. We are already losing our rights. We are already having our freedoms stolen from us. The only thing we have left to lose is our chains. A couple of weeks ago, brothers and sisters who have been on the front lines in Ferguson gathered at the Geneva Convention and called the UN to charge genocide in this nation. Unfortunately, law enforcement now kill an unarmed black person every 28 hours. Every day, a mother goes home without her child. Every day, a community loses a member who could have been a leader, who could have been Eric Holder, who could have been Barack Obama. Our, our government allows our law enforcement to kill 376 unarmed black people a year. We have a problem. In this nation, we have an issue with calling things what they are. We do not want to call what happened in Ferguson a systemic, systematic, institutionalized racism, institutionalized war. Accepted bullets. Every reporter that has gotten on a news channel and reported about the actions in Ferguson have called the unrest rioting, have called the unrest violence, have called the unrest despicable young people. Setting fires and cussing and screaming for no reason. I stand to say the antithesis of violence is not peace. The antithesis of violence is nonviolence. We are sitting across the street from Martin Luther King nonviolent radical social justice center and we have the audacity to tell our people, our young people, calm down, be peaceful. When every 28 hours someone is shooting my brother. to the national accepted genocide, but to also call attention to the way the media has flipped the script, has stolen the narrative from us, has allowed us to call this, has allowed us to call this a Ferguson issue, a black issue. The folk over there got an issue, y'all need to go fix it. Right. Unjustice somewhere is unjustice. We have some work to do. Now, I, I was charged with delivering a message from the young people who have stepped out of this meeting. On today, December 1st, 2014, individuals around the country walked out of their schools and places of work in solidarity with Ferguson and other communities across the country that have been affected and inflicted with police violence. We felt it a necessity to abandon the same oppressive institutions that have chosen, both now and historically, to abandon us. We, the students of institutions inside and outside of Atlanta, including Morehouse and Spelman College, Clark Atlanta University, Emory University, Kennesaw State University, and Georgia State University, have joined together in the first call for national political nonviolence. We, students, individuals, community members, and just plain folk in Atlanta believe that the time has come to openly call for action and radical change in the way our systems are operating in this country and blatantly disregarding the lives of black, brown, undocumented, queer, and trans bodies. This is not the 
Ferguson, Missouri's grand jury decision. In response to this protest, the state of Georgia deployed hundreds of officers in riot gear, armed with batons, riot shields, and large rifles. Innocent people engaged in nonviolent protests were brutalized by police in these streets, beaten with batons. Nearly 40 people were unjustly beaten and arrested. Atlanta and the surrounding cities are not exempt. We are not exempt from police and state violence. Young 
people in Missouri said not one more. And likewise, after the jury's decision dropped in Ferguson, over 300 cities organized their young people, all young lives who said Black Lives Matter, who said not one more, who said stand up, who said justice for Mike Brown, who said I am willing to fight for my freedom no matter the end result. Here in Atlanta, young people who have been organizing have been followed by police. We have been arrested and persecuted. We have been, we have had our, we have had our livelihood and our safety questioned and eradicated. That is injustice on the highest level. I stand with those young people as an organizer. I stand with those young people as a black queer woman. And I say, what are you willing to sacrifice for your freedom? Thanking you for your time, but I have a job to do.